Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing okay. I thought I'd bring a fashion video to you today and this one is just gonna be about spring outfits, predominantly neutral. Last year I did one of these. I can't remember whether it was a spring one or a summer one, but it was like a styling neutrals and um, it did really well and got lots of positive feedback and a lot of views. So I thought I'd kind of go down the same route again, but like, a refreshed version for this year. So what I'm gonna do, I've kind of got an inspiration rail here and I'm just gonna kind of piece things together and then I'll just talk you through the outfits when I've got them on. So I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And yeah, let's cut to the video. Outfit number one is this full look from Ted Baker. It's this kind of off-white pair of shorts and then white blouse. I love the one-tone look head to toe. I just think it works really well and looks really elegant. Paired it with these snakeskin sandals and then I'm just gonna pop a trench coat over the top because I quite like the look of having shorts or a shorter skirt with a longer trench coat over the top. I think it looks quite cool, something a bit different and if you just need a little bit of extra warmth on a spring day. So for the next look, I have just swapped the shorts for some jeans, just in case it's not quite the weather for shorts. So I've gone for these slouchy jeans from Zara, and again, I'm loving this whole tonal look together. And again, if sandals aren't quite your thing, or perhaps it's raining or a bit cooler, then swap for some loafers or trainers instead. I'm wearing these Gucci loafers, which again, just are really tonal and bring it all together. So for the next look, I've just swapped the shirt for a dark linen one, and I've wrapped it together like this, just as a different way to wear it. I've kind of tucked it in one side and then tucked it in the other as well. And I've also gone for matching black sandals just to bring some of that black in from the top right route to the bottom of the outfit. And then finally, I've completed the look with the black Arquette pouch. Again, it just kind of ties all the colors together and brings the eye down. At the moment, I'm absolutely loving these camel wide leg trousers. I just think they work really well with heels, or trainers. So I've got them in here with these little mules and then my Arquette tank top. And what I've done is just popped a jumper over the shoulders just to keep you a little bit warmer and it kind of replaces a jacket but gives you that extra layer of warmth as well. And then for the next look, I have swapped the top just for the shirt. And again, like the Arquette linen one, the black one that I just showed, I've wrapped this around to give it a slightly different look. It's just a change and slightly less formal than wearing a button shirt all done up. And then I've popped the trousers with trainers as I mentioned and then completed it with my Louis bag which kind of ties in all the colours together, just gives it that brown. And I think this would be really nice for a smart casual work environment too. So this has created an entirely different look but all I've done is change the trousers to a satin slip skirt again in a matching kind of white, off-white shade. And I think this is just a really nice, fresh, summery spring look. And again, with the shirt tied differently, I've tied it kind of round the waist. It just provides a more casual element and that's continued through with the trainers. And I think if you are struggling to wear a slip skirt in a more casual way, then this is one way to do it. So what I've gone for here is the same slip skirt, but this time I've put on this cashmere jumper from Gap. This is really nice and lightweight actually, despite it being cashmere. And then I've paired it with some heels as well. And I quite like that juxtaposition of wearing a jumper, but then with something a little bit more dressy too. And then if you want to make the look slightly more formal, you can pop a blazer over the shoulders. This one is a viscose one from Arquette. And again, just all those tonal neutral shades that work together. So if you want to make that look slightly more casual, then swap the skirt for some joggers. So these are more formal style joggers from Reese and I've kept the heels on with that, again, to keep it a little bit more dressy. I think this look is just really easy and chic and elegant. It's not too try hard, but also looks quite chic and polished at the same time. And then over the top, I've just put this crossbody actination bag, kind of ties those colors in together. And with it being a snake print, it's kind of neutral, but also gives it a little bit of something different as well. So if you want to wear those smarter, oops, drop that back. I've popped it with the dark Topshop racer top and then the Arquette bag to bring in those 
dark colors together but also the same heels and this is just a really nice casual but going out look and then to dress that down a bit more and make it work for daytime i've got the trench coat over the top which just works really well with the tones again and looks really nice over black and I'm gonna take the shoes off, swap them for some flat sandals this time. Again, bringing the black into the bottom of the outfit. And then the Arquette bag, just worn in a crossbody way, kind of makes it a lot more casual. Sticking with the racer top, I've gone for this cute neutral suit from Forth and Reckless. I absolutely love this and I think it will work both together and as separate as well. And this time again, just bringing that black down to the feet because I don't think a lighter shoe would work as well. I've gone for strappy Topshop sandals. These ones are old, but I'll try and find something similar. And then just showing you how I can wear these shorts, the same shorts as before in a more casual way. I've got this t-shirt on from Zara, just a plain white one with my Adidas trainers. And then what I'm gonna do is put my white shirt over the top just to kind of use as more of a jacket and this is just a nice really easy casual look for picnics and just having a nice walk in the summer months. The next outfit are these Arquette black trousers which I have raved about a lot I'm sure you'll have heard me talk about them before but they're just so comfortable and work really well with everything and they look great with sandals they're nice crop length and then I've paired it with this shirt that I got last year from Arquette I'll see if they do one similar, but I think H&M actually do. And I love the tones of the dark and then the more sandy color together. And I've tied that all in with the Ted Baker bag. This is such a beautiful bag. It's like a rattan style with black trimming and it works so well with these two colors. So my final outfit, I've kept the Arquette trousers on, but decided to dress them up a little bit more. So I'm wearing the same nudie kind of style wrap sandals from before these are old Zara but I'll try and link similar and then I've gone for a stripy t-shirt that's this season Zara and it's so so useful and then over the top I've put the Arquette blazer from before on and then my Pauline Paris bag and it just sort of ties together all the blacks and the neutrals in one outfit I hope you enjoyed my outfits and seeing how I style things for spring. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Go and follow me on Instagram as well. It's at Lydia Jane Tomlinson, where you'll see most of these pieces styled again. I really try and rewear things and restyle things, and hopefully that comes through on my Instagram too, as well as my YouTube. So yeah, go and follow me on there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.